Hi everybody and welcome back to the tasting room. We're sampling today, uh, I do apologize, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce this, but uh, I'm going to go with Zikala Mescal. So someone in the comment section, please uh, correct my pronunciation if I got it wrong there. Or let me know if I got it right, because I'm curious to know myself. But uh, So like I said, this is a mezcal. And uh, mezcal is... Um, it's kind of it's similar to a tequila, but at the same time it's not. So I mean, uh, so, the, so both are made from the agave plant. So the uh, tequila has to be made from the blue agave plant. And I think there's like 18 different... Um, types of agave plants that the uh, that mezcal can be made out of. Um, and I think the uh, the process for making it is a little bit different. Um, you know, for a mezcal, they'll, uh, they'll roast the uh, the agave plants in a, uh, in a pit in the ground. Um, I don't know the whole process, but uh, all I know is I kind of like it. I don't know a whole lot about mezcal, but at any rate, um, this one is 43% alcohol. It, uh, Comes with a nifty little doodad here, some kind of a flower, I think. I'm not a botanist, I don't know. Hmm. <sighs> so, big, big nose on this one. It, uh, more than anything, I'm getting a lot of roasted veggies. Pineapple, bell pepper. Uh, got a nice, nice wood smoke in there. Maybe a little bit of honeyed sweetness. Okay, so the taste on this one follows up the nose quite nicely. Again, I don't know another way to describe it. I'm getting a lot of roasted veggies. There's a nice, kind of a, almost kind of like a fruity sweetness there. Still plenty of that charred wood feel there. Finishes up nicely with um, it's got a relatively long finish here. It's got some uh, it's got some black pepper and a uh, good amount of that wood smoke there that we were talking about before. What I gotta tell you, I, I usually don't go for the uh, for the clear boozes, you know, other than other than gin. Um, but uh, you know, the unaged whiskeys or the unaged tequilas. Um, or mezcal. Just, um, just because, you know, usually the clear boozes, they, they don't, they don't offer a whole lot as, uh, you know, as far as, you know, the, the aromas and the flavors, uh, because for a lot of booze, you know, whiskey especially, most of the flavor they get from the, uh, from the charred barrel. Now this one here just kind of, uh, kind of caught my attention as, uh, as I was tasting it at the, uh, at the local liquor store. Um. Because it has such a full nose and such a full uh, flavor profile, uh, I really like it. It's very, very nice. Yeah, definitely a good long finish there. A little bit drying, and then you know, right, right, right at the end, and that nice kiss of that wood smoke. All right, so the nose on this one, again, very nice, very full, very rich. A lot of roasted veggies and smoke, and just a. Uh, just a nice marriage of aromas. I want to go ahead and give the nose 23.5 points. The taste on this one, exactly what we expected from the nose. You know, just a light, a light fruitiness there, more smoke, more, uh, more of that roasted, uh, you know, that roasted agave, roasted, uh, roasted veggie feel there. Uh, I'm going to give the taste 22 points. Nice finish on this one, good and long, some nice black pepper there. You know, left this with some good flavors. I'm going to give the finish on this one 23 points, and then the overall balance, I'm going to give 22.5.
that's going to leave me with an overall score of 91 points for this Zikala Mezcal. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, remember to give me a thumbs up or leave a comment in the comment section down below. And then, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already a member. And then after you do, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button to make sure you get notifications of new videos that come out. I do have one come out every weekend, and I'd hate for you to miss one. So go ahead and do that for me, and I will see you again next week right here on The Tasting Room.